Hello everyone! Welcome back to the channel. So, I have never seen Toy Story. I know. What is happening? So, because Toy Story 4 is out in theaters now, I did want to go and see it. And I happened to see that my movie channels all had 1, 2, and 3 playing this past weekend. And so, I DVR recorded all of them. And I spent the last three nights watching one every single night. What is wrong with me? Why have I not seen any of the Toy Stories? I know the reason. I don't have children. And so I guess in my brain, I just associate animation and movie, animation movies with children. It's childlike. And I don't have any kids. So therefore, I'm not going to go see an animated movie. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong forever now. Toy Story is amazing. It is such a good time. It makes you laugh. It makes you cry. It's a little bit intense at some parts. Like I found myself curling up on my couch like, oh my god, no, not Woody. I mean, you get so attached to these characters. You love all of them. You just want to, you wish they were yours. Honestly, I wish that they were my toys and I feel badly about giving my toys away now <laughs> because did they have feelings that I didn't know about? I have no idea, but this was such an amazing concept for Pixar to put out. I can't even believe that the first movie came out in 1994. I was 14 years old when the first movie came out. That is unbelievable, guys. This movie franchise has been around for 25 years. And is it stopping? I don't know. I'm going to see Toy Story 4 tomorrow. So maybe I'll find out. I have no idea. But this is amazing. These movies are incredible. I love them. I love them so much. And I figure, you know what? Why not make a video? about how I've never seen them and how much I love them. And you know what? Let's quick rank them while I'm doing this because I can't put four in there because obviously I haven't seen it yet. So let me quick rank one, two, and three. Okay, so the and mind you, they are all great. Like none of them suck. None of them are horrible. Okay, like these are all fantastic movies. But something has to be at the bottom. So I'm going to put Toy Story 2 at the bottom. And let me tell you why. I felt like there was a lot going on in that movie. There was a lot of things happening. A lot of plot lines going on. A lot of storylines. And you were kind of like torn back and forth about what you should be paying attention to. And so that's why that's at the bottom for me. I think number two, I'm going to rank Toy Story 1 because that is the first movie. So obviously the first movie out of the gate is kind of like the shakiest one because that's the movie that's like, okay, well, let's try putting this out and see how everyone reacts. But it's still a fan. It's a great movie. These are all fantastic movies. So Toy Story 1 is going to be my second choice. So obviously because I haven't seen four, my number one favorite out of the three is Toy Story 3. Because at the very end, and literally I just got done watching it maybe 20 minutes ago, this movie, oh my God, like the scene where all the toys are holding hands and they're going towards the dumpster fire, like I can't even imagine being a kid watching that. That was so like intense and I was like oh my god and I knew nothing was going to happen because obviously we have Toy Story 4 and I knew they were all okay but in that moment you're just you're like no not the toys <laughs> like please not the toys and I started getting so emotional and I'm 38 years old and I can't even imagine being a kid like six seven eight years old watching this oh my god that pulled at my heartstrings, you guys. Oh my God, such a good movie. And then at the very end, 
when Andy gives his toys to Bonnie and it's his one last playtime with them and when Woody, when he drives off and Woody says, so long, partner. Oh my God. That was like so heartbreaking. But that's, you know, that's what happens. You got to donate your toys to someone else. And they get to be loved by somebody else. Oh my gosh. I love these movies. I really do. I'm so glad that Toy Story 4 is coming out. Because if it wasn't for this movie coming out, I probably would have never even seen these movies. Because I had the preconceived notion that they're just for kids. And they are not just for kids. They are for everybody. I was laughing hysterically. Everyone who voiced these characters was perfect. Perfect casting, unbelievable job by everybody. And you know what? If Toy Story 4 is as good as they say it is, and if they have room for more movies, I say do it. But I'm kind of hearing that Tom Hanks and Tim Allen aren't coming back anymore. So if that is true, stop right here because those two are irreplaceable. You cannot mess with those two lead character voices. They are perfect for Woody and Buzz. And I just cannot imagine anyone else doing it. So I am so looking forward to seeing tomorrow's movie. When I am done, I will definitely do a review for you guys. But thank you so much for tuning in. It's kind of late tonight, but I figure I might as well do a quick video about my reaction to Toy Story because I've never seen it before. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and join the review crew.